So here we are in the room and there is one object here. This is the control object and otherwise the room is empty. Just got the control object and in the control object at the moment in the draw function we have draw text in that position the health. So if we load the game here we have the number of health which is 100. But what if you wanted to make it so that there is more than just numbers and text on screen. What if you actually wanted to make a bar? Like say for example, in some games you'd have a block at the top of the screen where all the information is held, or it might be at the bottom or one of the sides. Well, what you can do is you can actually draw a sprite similar to how you can draw the text. So let's create a new sprite and let's make this the banner at the top. So we'll call this SPR banner. We'll edit the sprite. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it, how big should we make it? We'll resize the canvas. Don't keep the aspect ratio because we want it to be, we want it to be wider than it is tall. So height, let's make it 70 pixels and width. Well, in this case, it doesn't actually matter what the width is because as long as it's actually wider than what's on the screen itself, you're still only going to be seeing what's actually on the screen. So for the sake of it, let's just make this a thousand for now. And let's do this very basic. Let's just make it, let's just make it a light green. So here we have a light green banner. And as you can see, it's just a long green banner. And in this case, we want the origin to be zero, zero. Going back into the object control, into the draw function, we want to put before the draw text, we want to put draw sprite and then in brackets we have to put the name of the sprite which is SPR banner comma and then the sub image which is which image it is in the order based on the animation. The banner only has one image which is image zero since it only has one frame in the animation meaning it's not animated at all. We just put a zero there. And then we have to put in the X and Y coordinates. Now, don't forget, two things not to forget here. First of all, is that we want it to maintain on screen all the time. We don't want it to move away when we move away from it. So we put in view underscore X view. And in, and in this case, we're going to do plus zero because we want it to start in the top left corner. And the origin of the thing is in the top left corner. So we're going to start at X view plus zero. And then we're going to do view underscore y view, also plus zero, and close the brackets. Now, the reason we want to put this above the text is because we want the sprite to draw first. If the text draws first, then the sprite will draw over it and we won't see it. So let's check that out. And here we have it. Here's our green banner at the top of the screen with a number on top of it. 